Alright, people are back. This is Yas Servant 777 on YouTube. Um, the last time we had a special guest on the phone, we had Toby, Sharon's um, oldest daughter, Sharon of Soldiers of the Cross, of course. And right now we have another important guest on the phone, and it's Shannon. It's the sister of Toby, and of course the youngest daughter of Sharon. Now, um, Shannon has asked me um, to give her this opportunity to put some truths out again on videos. I'm going to do so. And uh, Shannon, are you with us? Yes, I'm here. Great, okay. Well, thank you very much, first of all, for letting us be involved in all this. First of all, you know, to to uh, that this situation might be used, you know, for, for you guys to be healed and furthermore to save children from harm. And uh, so I, I, w I would like to thank you for giving us this honor uh, to be used like this. Thank you for giving us your trust. And, um, well, as far as I understand, you have a couple of words to say, including a personal message to, to John and Sharon. So I'm going to give you the word right now. And, um, and all right, so if you would like to tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, first I want to start by saying, because my sister has gotten a lot of email, um, that we are not now, nor have we ever been, members of Children's of the Cross or any other religious groups that Sharon and John are affiliated with. That said, we are very thankful for soldiers, for your ministry allowing us to speak our story because we are genuinely worried for the people that are following soldiers of the cross. All right, yeah. You're welcome. I'm sorry? I said you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, we, we are very grateful. Yeah, okay. Um, there, there, are some, there is a message that I want to give to John and Sharon specifically. Um, do you want me to do that now, or do you want me to wait? Well, what would you like to do? What, do what, what exactly do you have to say? Would you like to give that message now, or...? Well, I want to talk specifically to Sharon. Um, okay. Mom, what you're doing is wrong, and I know that you know that. And you can call me and Toby and Oliver liars, but I know that you know the truth, and you know that we know the truth, and more importantly, God knows the truth, and I don't know if God can forgive somebody that refuses to even acknowledge that the thing that they did, but I hope so, I really genuinely hope so, but you need to stop, you're hurting people, you're, you're giving people false messages. It's wrong. All right, so this was your personal message to Sharon. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Shannon, for your courage to come forward with this, uh, with this message. Uh, thank you for no longer receiving this spirit of fear, but boldly speaking out against uh, soldiers of the cross, John and Sharon. As far as I understand, they have not really replied to anything, to any of these videos, but they have put up uh, a video in which it was all about themselves, basically, right? I, I personally have um, not, I personally have not seen it, but... Yeah, they're kind of videos liking in themselves to Jesus on the cross kind of a thing. They're, they're, they're clearly meant for Toby and possibly myself, you know, because she talks about um, being slandered and the words being twisted and being lied on and things like that. And um, so um, we feel, because she put them up right after Toby's interview, that those were her personal messages. Um, she, you know, that was her way of cutting out and saying what she had to say against Toby. But... Everything Toby has said has been 100% the truth yeah. and more. I mean, there are so many things about her that is just unconscionable. You know, she, our mother, she has, she's a very, she can be a very angry person, angry person. Like, you know, we would never really know when it was going to strike. It would just be, you know, it would just kind of happen all at once and 
everything about her would change. Her affect would change. Her eyes would change. She'd get swing eyed and just the look in her eyes would change. I mean, she sincerely looked possessed. I'm sure she wasn't, but that is what she looked like. And she would just yell this yell of it. It was just, just awful. And I know that Toby personally, you know, took a lot of verbal beatings from my mother. She, she, she called her stupid and ugly and fat and are you going to wear that? You don't look good. And my sister was pretty and she made straight A's. She just, I don't know why she said those things to her. Um, there was one night when my sister and all her friends were gathered in the living room and my mom had come out in a white sheet with nothing underneath it and started telling everybody that she was intoxicated. And she started telling everybody that it was her wedding dress. And she dropped that sheet in front of all of Toby's friends. And she said it was her wedding dress. And I mean, I can only, I was there, but I, you know, I still am just, amazed at some of the things that she's pulled and she, and you know the thing is that it, it was kind of a 50 50 deal like half the year she would be okay y'all can drink and y'all can go out and y'all can do whatever and then the other half of the year it was like we have to go to church we have to repent but she would do it like every year and i mean i mean for my 15th birthday party she threw me a beer party you know, but shortly, several months thereafter, we were going into church, you know, and, and there was none of that. But it was just on and off. Like, I don't know if she was personally struggling, struggling with, you know, her inner demons or, I, you know, I really can't say what was going on there. But, I mean, it was definitely, it was definitely inconsistent and we did stay kind of confused. Yeah, yeah. So what you're saying here is like, you know, Sharon seemed basically like possessed. Yeah. Her mm -hmm. behavior, yeah. Well, there are some people right now that are contacting us about this whole situation. You know, and they want to do all this away and then and, and say like, you know, all that was their past. It is all covered by the blood of Jesus. You know, they are forgiven. But this is just the whole point, you know. I want, I want everybody to know that is right now watching, that are right, that are right now watching this. Um, that if I knew for sure that John and Sharon since were forgiven and covered with the blood of Jesus, I would have never done this. I would never do this this phone interview. But the, the, the thing is, and that's the most grievous of all to me, is that um, that John and Sharon have left their own children behind are basically abused and traumatized and in fear and even in so much telling them that if they do not believe that John is the prophet that they have been given power to scour them off the earth and things of that nature so yeah. mm -hmm. they, they, they have used the word of God and they have used the name of Jesus for their own purposes in so many different uh, ways that that very image of Jesus in the minds of their own children is damaged basically because of that and they what what again I say the most grievous thing of all to me is that they have never shown any sign of repentance to their children uh, no never they, they don't even she doesn't even acknowledge that how we say you know what about when you beat into a bloody pulp and you know he'd be so bad I had to kneel instead of I couldn't sit down. I had a meal. Yeah. And um, she said, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? She, mm -hmm. just, she just simply doesn't even acknowledge it. She doesn't even acknowledge it. You know, no. the, the people that are contacting us and, and, and saying this, all oh, this all coupled with the blood of Jesus, it is, it is, it is done, you know. Um, John and Sharon have never done anything to try to restore that image of Jesus that they themselves damaged in the minds of their children. And then they come here on YouTube preaching in the name of Jesus and talking about love and their children are watching this and saying, hey, you know, you know, they, they, have, they, they, they basically do not have a clue what love is and, and people, you know, should know the truth about, you know, 
what, what they have done to their own children.